Hey YouTube, so we're back again with another VGC video. This one's coming at you on a Friday for a very special reason, which I'll get into in a few minutes. But we have a Kyogre Zapto Suicune team here for you. I really like Kyogre. And it's done me well in VGC in the past, so I really like seeing this team. It's got your staples, Rillaboom and Incineroar. A Tailwind user in Suicune, which is a very supporting Suicune by the looks of it. Shedinja, which has great utility in this season, and I'm really excited to be bringing that content to you today. Kyogre is your standard Kyogre, very basic. Water Spout for when you're at full HP. Ice Beam for coverage. Protect to stop attack from hitting it to keep Water Spout up and going. Uh... I see a few issues with the team that might be issues, but hopefully are not. The team looks like it has a great coverage. I'm going to have to be careful of uh, rock types, but with the Suicune and Kyogre, hopefully we don't see many of those. Rillabooms will be an issue for us, obviously, with Kyogre being our staple of the team. Shedinja is going to cover many of these problems, but as you can see, Rillaboom has knockoff on our Rillaboom, and I've seen a lot of other Rillabooms with knockoff. Now, this Rillaboom and this Incineroar are the same ones I have brought you in all the previous videos, because just like every other team I have showcased in the last little while, this one is also by my brother, Jay Frost. You can catch him on our streams on Twitch every... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's right, I am streaming five days a week now. Yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the VGC battles after this quick message from our sponsor. That's right, I am promoting my Raid Shadow Legends sponsored Twitch uh, stream that is happening Friday, September 24th. Later today, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That'll give you about six hours after this video goes live. No. Should be more than that. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play uh, game that you can download on your uh, iPad, your uh, mobile phone device, your Android devices, on your computer, anywhere right now. And for the next week, you'll be able to uh, download and receive uh, extra things that you'll be able to check out in my Twitch stream. We'll be going over all of that in the stream later today. Please come in, check it out. It's going to be fun. I've never played Raid before. But they've decided to sponsor us this week. And I couldn't say no to an amazing opportunity. And I've been wanting to try the game for what it seems like years at this point, And never had a reason to jump into it. So we're going to jump into it live later today over on my Twitch channel. Link's in the description. About time. I have been sitting here for like 15 minutes waiting. So we have our first battle today against Tins07 with their Zygarde Tornado. Oh, wow. This is okay. This is a lot going on here. Um, whoo, um, I actually think Shininja is going to be really good in the back. I do think I need to lead Suicune Kyogre. And in Suicune Incineroar, Kyogre should ninja should be should do the trick here. I think Rillaboom is a close second here, but I'm positive Ferrothorn's coming in to deal with my legendaries. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna lead with this, and hopefully, I did not totally botch up our first match yet again. Because that will not be fun. So, their lead is going to be... Zyo... Zyo... Bleh, I can spoke. Zygarde Ferrothorn. So, I'm half good here. If I set Tailwind, Flare Blitz, Ferrothorn... Uh, Tail... No, Tailwind... I'm going to Tailwind Fake Out Zygarde. I think that will ultimately help in the long run, getting that Tailwind up. I'm worried about Zygarde's speed against Incineroar. I don't need to be hit with a Ground-type move before I can connect here with Flare Blitz and a Ferrothorn, because losing Incineroar on turn one 
would be detrimental to everything we're doing here. Part of me is expecting a protect out of Ferrothorn. Oh, no, the withdrawal from Ferrothorn into Feeny. Okay, that, that's that's good. That actually works out really well for us. Misty Surge will actually weaken Zygarde's Dragon type moves. If Zygarde is running any Dragon type moves, Dra Zygarde protects. That could not have actually gone better. I'm happy with how that turn went. Now, I'm going to call mine Suicune and Parting Shot Zygarde. I want to build up Suicune's defenses and offenses here so I can get a nice, big, powerful Snarl out in a second. But I'm going to Parting Shot out, Weakening Zygarde. Which will help us long term and give us. I'm gonna go with Kyogre, I think. I think that should not be a big problem here. My water spout is more than likely gonna be weakened. So hopefully it's not that big of a deal. There's Thousand Arrows going into the Kyogre. Oh, it hits both. Okay. Muddy Water. Okay, Kyogre dodges it. Weakum takes a hit, but with the Calm Mind up, as long as there's no... There was an Accuracy Drop. Okay. I have Leftovers. We'll Calm Mind again, and... Ice Beam, the Zygarde slot. Withdraw the Zygarde. Sends in the Ferrothor. This is what I was afraid of earlier. Now that's protected from my Flare Blitz because of my rain. But if I can get lucky here with a Freeze, that's never going to happen. I don't know why I thought it would happen. It would never happen. Suicune is getting more and more protected from Tapu Fini. This turn I'm going to go on the offensive. Mostly because I need to do some damage to that Fini right away. I'm actually going to Snarl. And then Water Spout. I know it's not very effective, but I'm hoping... The rain boost is going to give us enough power here to deal some big damage. Oh, that did nothing. That did nothing. Ferrothorn avoids the snarl. At least it hit the Feeny, but that's not very effective. I'm in a bad position here. I'm going to have to maneuver a few things around here to try to get out of this. I should have thought further ahead and maybe brought Zapdos. Uh, there's Power Whip going into Kyogre, knocking Kyogre out. Yeah, the more I think about it, a Zapdos here would have been nice. Now the, the Ferrothorn would swap out into Zygarde here. Who's Tailwind. Okay, I think we're going to chalk this one up to a loss after it looked like it was going to be a really easy fight and this did not end up being an easy match whatsoever here. And he tail went back up and a fake out in Tefini. Do I have like two turns before the rain disappears? I wish we could check what we had, uh... Oh, uh, communicating going. That'd be really helpful. He flinches. Power Whip goes into Suicune. Please tell me Suicune doesn't get one shot here. Thank you. 
I don't know how Kyogre does. Suicune must be bulkier than Kyogre. We have both bulky water types. Mist disappears. I'm going to go with another s Snarl to try to weaken Feeny. Blair Blitz in the rain into Ferrothorn. I hope not to switch into Zygarde. My moves have been very just obvious plays. I... Players have gotten better from when I was wrecking the board. And I don't have a, I don't have a lot of time to practice outside of making these videos for you. Which really does create a problem. Ferrothorn withdraws, most likely Zygarde. It's Zygarde. That's Zygarde. Snarl is going to miss Feeny. I'm going to get hit by a um, Muddy Water here, Rain Boosted in a second. Incineroar is more than likely about to go down. Incineroar can't do anything to Zygarde. Wow, what is going on with Zygarde? Muddy Water double connects. Incineroar gets wiped away thanks to the double Calm Mind from Tapu Fini. More accuracy drops on... Yeah. <clears throat> so even if I can make it through the next turn and a half, two turns, it's not going to end well. I'm going to lose because I got Shininja. This would have been so much better if I had just brought Zapdos. Feeny walled my team here. Uh, both of them are going to use spread moves, most likely. Uh, Shininja only dies to maybe a Leech Seed from Ferrothorn, which we have not seen yet. I'm going to click Snarl again and Will-O-Wisp into the Zygarde slot. The Mist gone should be okay. If I can pull this 2v4 out, I will be very impressed. Will-O-Wisp connects, that's good. More bulk, more less damage coming from Zygarde. Lumberry. Horse. It has crunch. Yeah, that was not go well. Solo attacks, okay. Man, everything has a, everything on this team except that Feeny has a counter to Shedinja. So if I can maybe if I protect on Shedinja. Oh, really? That triggers now. There's the Megazord. Uh, I can't. I don't have anything that will actually take Zygarde out. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to protect this turn. Scald into Zygarde. Can I get a burn now? No. Oh, expecting ally switch, possibly? No, trying to double take out Shedinja. Or Suicune. Even if I can ally switch, I need to get the burn and... Oh man, my Tailwind petered out too. Okay, let's attempt this ally switch turn. I don't know how this is going to play out for me. I got for tech, so I can't even take it out this turn. Now for mind games. Who can outthink who? I have a total of like 14 health left. 
Moonblast and a Sheninja. Okay. Managed to gain a bit more health. Oh, I have 25. 37, 38 HP left total. Oh, God. I think we protect Sheninja this turn. And Scald the Zygarde. They expect the... Uh, maybe I should have ally switched. I think ally switch would have been a lot smarter here. Make them think I'm going to start ally switching. No, they just shoot 1,000 arrows out so they can guarantee hitting Suicude and most likely Muddy Water. Suicude goes down to 1,000 arrows. That sucks. Yeah, just double into spread moves. Out Tailwind, I couldn't out Speed. Without having the burn on... Zygarde, can't really, I couldn't get the extra damage to take it out. I didn't have a chance to put a, another Will-O-Wisp on it. Ugh, that was bad. Withdraw Feeny. Parathorn. I'm never going to find out what their fourth lawn was. I gotta go through Protect. As long as Ferrothorn has uh, Leech Seed, I lose before Crunch even connects. I could just give up here. I'm interested to see if Ferrothorn gets to attack, if they go for the Crunch with uh, Zygarde. <coughs> if they think we're going to start playing that back and forth game. Nah, they just go for Crunch. That sucked. All right, that was on to the next one. All right, battle number two is against Dan, and they are running the opposite team. We are running with Groudon. Okay, Groudon versus Kyogre. Groudon versus Kyogre. Groudon versus Kyogre. Okay, I feel if we go Suicune up front with Incineroar. I'm gonna check Zapdos. Yeah, then we have Zapdos and Kyogre in the back. This will allow them to get the sun up, me to swap in when they, yeah. It's a process, but it's a process that I believe will work. One that has worked well for me in the past with other weathers. Um, yeah, so I think they're going to lead Grout on Venusaur, go for sleep on Suicune and whatever, and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to send in Suicune, Zapta, Suicune, Incineroar. I get to lower the attack stat of Grout on. I swap. Incineroar out for Kyogre. So let me set Tailwind first. I think that's the best play. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. I didn't know they added up more pictures. I gotta look into changing my uh, player card. Um, Route on Zapdos lead. Okay. That makes th it makes things a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is basically the same thing. I'm but I'm gonna set the tailwind. I'm going to swap this out into. I'm not gonna swap this out into Kyle. I'm going to fake out Groudon like I was planning on anyways. Next turn, I'm going to Parting Shot into Zapdos while setting up Calm Mind. I don't want Incineroar to go down. Zapdos protects anyways, so that's that gives me a free turn. They double protect. 
I get to set up free Tailwind. That is all I wanted this turn was to set up a free Tailwind. Now I can start Calm Mining in their face with Suicune. Bring in Kyogre. Off a Parting Shot into Zapdos. That's the key part. Parting Shot will weaken Zapdos more than um, necessary at this point. It's going to double up here. I got the Intimidate on the Groudon. Parting Shot goes to Zapdos. I get to bounce out into Kyogre. I also managed to spread out the drops that I'm aiming for here. Well, the drops of the boost. Instead of needing two Calm Mines, it's now... You can swap out Zapdos to get your power back, but I get another Calm Mind up. It's mental games, and it's not putting all my eggs in one basket. Now, look at how little that damage does now. Precipice Blades comes out. Kyogre avoids Precipice Blades. Suicune takes it like a champ after the Intimidate drop. That's a Life Orb Groudon. Still sitting below half, but that's okay. I'm going to Scald the Groudon slot because they're going to swap into something else. And I'm going to also Water Spout to try to take out Zapdos. I don't think Zapdos is going to go down and there's a Thunderbolt in my future soon. Oh, they're taking a minute. They might be swapping here. Groudon will probably swap out. I would swap Groudon out here into, into Venusaur. That'll be okay. I'm going to swap Kyogre out the following turn after Ice Beaming the... Uh, whatever this slot is. Yeah, it's Venusaur, like I thought. I'm going to burn on Venusaur here. Zapdos Protect, so that's okay. Part of why I didn't go into that slot with any of my moves. It was able to protect. Groudon could have protected, but then it would... It's a process. Venusaur is going to maybe go down here in a second. I do have a plus one in special attack, thanks to Calm Mind. Venusaur goes down before it can do anything. Oh, I love some legendary Pokemon. Suicune gets to heal. Here it comes back in Groudon. Groudon's Drought. I'm going to drop another Calm Mind. I'm going to bring Kyogre back out for my own Zapdos. Calm Mind will give me some more defense, special defense for Z uh, their Zapdos. Oh, I should have brought in... Uh, no, I did not want to bring in uh, Incineroar there into a Precipice Blades. Thunderbolt goes into, Za into, my, into Zapdos. Okay, no para, good. Thunder Punch goes into, Z into Suicune, who holds on. Okay, please tell me Tailwind does not peter out this turn. I think it's next turn. Okay. Tailwind peters out. I'm still going to drop a... Snarl. And a... Heat Wave. And a Heat Wave. Groudon protects. It doesn't look like Zapdos is protecting. If I can get a special attack drop on their Zapdos... I think that's a connect. That's a connect of Heat Wave in the sun. We get a burn on it. No, there's Aptos moves first. Taking out my Suicune, which is going to be a slight issue. But now I can safely swap in Incineroar. Grabbing Incineroar, I can then Parting Shot. Want a Parting Shot. I don't know if I want a parting shot. I am going to fake out Groudon this turn. 
and I'm going to Thunderbolt their Zapdos. The Thunder Punch on Groudon should have been expected. I didn't think about it. I'm so used to Pokemon Go where Groudon has Fire Punch. But apparently I missed that. So mine has Fire Blast. You can always Elite TM it. If you'd like to see Pokemon Go content, like some uh, Great Ball, Great Battle League or whatever it is, GBL, I can make some of that content if you're interested. Fake Out connects into Groudon, get a little bit more damage on Groudon. Thunderbolt will go into the Protect on their Zapdos. Here is where problem numero uno begins to stop us. Out Tailwind, I'm very, very slow. I'm hoping I can bounce gra uh, Incinera out of here before that happens. Swap Groudon out. Then in their own Incineroar. Fine with me. I'm not doing any physical moves this time. Thunderbolt into their Zapdos will send them out of damage. Thunderbolt into my Incineroar. Hopefully no para. Good. Parting shot into their Incineroar. I get Kyogre. If I can protect this turn, swap next turn. We're playing a nasty game here. It's whoever takes out the Zapdos first. That needs to be the game they're trying to play, right? That's the game I'm playing. We want to drop the other Zapdos. Zapdos might swap here. Uh, should we fake out into Zapdos? Oh, uh, should we fake out into that? They might double into Kyogre. I'm going to throw Hurricane at the Zapdos slot. If I can get a confusion on it, that would be really nice. They might have to be forced out to swap out Zapdos instead of Incineroar, but they probably also have Parting Shot. Oh, man. There's a lot of mind games going into this fight because they're just very similar teams. One's running water and one's... Okay. Nice! They did double into Kyogre. Hurricane's 100% accurate in the rain. Not expecting it to do much, but I was hoping for the confusion. I got the confusion. Okay, that is... That is That is gold! Now I'm going to Water Spout this turn while Thunderbolting their Zapdos slot. I'm expecting Sin to swap out. Zapdos might swap out into Groudon, but I think even with the rain, as long as I am at max health, Incineroar does swap out. I'm going to get some damage in on Groudon here. I might be able to win the Weather War right now. I don't know how bad the drought is going to be for my rain, but I think I get to win the Weather War right now. Both go down. Here we go. I just won this match. There's no way an Incineroar can beat my three Pokemon. Good game, Dan. Oh, yeah. Well-timed Kyogre's Water Spout. All it took. All that maneuvering to get into this position right here. Oh, that was... That was a lot. So I'm going to swap out Kyogre here to get in and sin. Then I'm going to Parting Shot with Incineroar to bring that back. I'm going to Thunderbolt their Incineroar slot. They conceded. Thank you for the battle, Dan. We'll see you later. All right. Our third battle and our last battle for tonight is against another Kyogre team. This one's running Talonflame and Regieleki. Still sticks with Ferrothorn. I... Oh, 
Uh, Regilecki, I don't think, can touch Kyogre. Not Kyogre, uh, Shedinja. I'm gonna lead Suicune, Zapdos. Thinking Kyogre, and as much as I really want to, I'm gonna bring Shedinja in the back. Um. I think Shininja can get through this. If I could just maneuver everything perfectly, we should be okay. I have to play smarter than I have been. I want to show you guys the, some of the best content I can bring, but I... Sometimes... I have brain farts. Oranguru Kyogre. Okay. Not setting Tailwind this turn. I am going to Snarl and Hurricane into the Orangaroo. Kyogre is going to protect. I expected that coming. They're going to try to set Trick Room. I can get a Confusion on the Orangaroo here. And it hits itself. There's no confusion. Darn it. That would have been beautiful. I was a little worried, though. I will get a special attack drop on the Oranguru. There's the Trick Room. I now will be moving slower. I'm going to hit... T uh... Yeah, I am going to... Oh, I did not want to. I didn't want to attack Rangru like that. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That was another misclick. If you watch my streams, I do them all the time. Sometimes these pro controllers are a little sensitive when you're not fully paying attention to what you're doing. No drop, please. Water spout comes out. I really wanted to hit the Kyogre. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That was devastating. I think now I need to bring in Shedinja. I think right now needs to be Shedinja being brought in. Followed by a quick ally switch to protect Suicune a little bit. I did call mine last time, right? Yeah, if I snarl and then Sh Shadow Sneak's gonna be better. I'll Shadow Sneak into Kyogre. That priority will let me go first. I'll get some damage onto Kyogre to weaken water, but just that little bit. I hope it's enough to let Ky uh, Suicune survive with its Calm Mind boost. Oh, that was actually way more than I thought. Here comes wa um, not water, water Spout. The Ninja won't be affected. Think I survived, but just barely? Oh! Okay! Wow, I... My Suicune is not damaging it the way I wanted it to. I think they thought I would ally switch. And honestly, I thought about it. Um, I'm going to try to take out a Rangaroo this turn. And ally switch. Now, if I ally switch this turn, that might mess them up. I think they thought I was going to do it last turn to protect Suicune. I still have Kyogre in the back, but I don't have Thunder on it. 
Zapdos is gone, which was my counter to Kyogre. Shedinja is my block to Kyogre. Okay. Origin Pulse. I'm going to Scald a and get rid of that. That Get rid of the monkey. Uh, orangutan, I guess. It's gone. Did Origin Pulse miss? I missed that. Ooh, things might be looking a little bit up now. Who are they bringing in? If it's Ferrothorn, we're in trouble. Ferrothorn gives us a lot of trouble right now. They brought that. I don't know how we win. Urshifu. Dark. I'm going to do what I can here. Really hope for the best. Love to end this battle with a win. Got a 3v3 battle left. I don't know right now. There are so many counters out there to everything that you make one mistake bringing in... Uh, Choosing the right four members for the battle, and you're just done before you can even start. Suicune holds on. Suicune held on. Can I get a burn? No. Going into Kyogre. Who can't tank anything? What is that? Tailwind, I think Peter is out right now. Really hoping. I need it too. Brother, this is why we run Origin Pulse. Hit that and. I have no choice, but I need Urshifu to go down. Please tell me this, my Kyogre is max speed. It's not taking attacks worth of crap, so it better be max speed. Urshifu withdraws to save it for Shedinja. Here comes Ferrothorn. If I can get a burn on it, I'll be a lot happier. They have two counters in the back to my ninja. No, it didn't miss. Man, and Kyogre has the ice beam. I should just ice beam the ocean through slot. Really hoping it wasn't Ferrothorn in the back though. That thing's just gonna wreck us. I have to rely on it's on it missing. Each seed and everything else. I really wanted to have Shedinja do something good here, but I just. It just wasn't enough. Nothing I did was enough in this fight. It seems to me that maybe I should do another video with this team and try not to bring in Shedinja. Because every time I have ever used Shedinja, it has not gone well for me. Every time. Even when I was doing it on Showdown, trying to do funny things, it just didn't work. Right now, all I can do is continue to snarl. Isn't going to do anything to Ferrothorn. They know about Ally Switch. I'm just going to click it. <coughs> I 
I can take down Kyogre with Shedinja. But I need to get rid of the other two Pokemon first. Don't care that that missed Kyogre. I need it to deal damage Ferrothorn. The exact same thing. No! Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go for the burn this turn. Now I can just click act. I'm just gonna click ally switch. Let's see if I thought them because my first thought was to protect. I get the burn on the Ferrothorn, please. I did. Okay. I thought I was gonna hit protect. Leech seed into Suicune. Crap. Okay. Burn is not going to mitigate enough damage here. And that Leech Seed is going to take away my leftovers healing. I'm watching that life counter. Oh my god, Leech Seed is... That's game. I have nothing to swap into. I have nothing left I can do. That leech seed was game ending. Let's see if they thought about another uh, ally switch. Carathorn avoids it. Oh, I don't care about the Kyogre. No, how many battles have we done and we haven't seen Ferrothorn? And then I run a water team and we see th uh, two or three Ferrothorns? No, two Ferrothorns and a Venusaur? Oh, that sucked. Oh, uh, I'm just going to attack Kyogre. Let me see if I can take down Kyogre now. Can't mess around anymore. But, while we wait for the Ferrothorn to take out my Shedinja, remember, Raid Shadow Legends sponsor stream tonight on Twitch. Come on, hang out, watch me learn how to play this game. Come join us. There'll be a link in the description down here. There'll be a link on my Twitch page. Check it out. Download it, have fun, get some free stuff in your game, and we will have some fun. Um, any card, Jay? Take it away! Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and that big red button down below. The top video over there, that's my most recent video. The one running underneath that, that's the one YouTube thinks you'll like best.